many years from now Will you still be sending me a valentine Birthday greetings, bottle of wine If I'd been out till quarter to three Would you lock the door? Will you still need me? Will you still feed me? When I'm 64 Sounds like a fish. My daughter got knocked up by a garp. Find out if that's the son of a bitch's first name or last name. Was that his first name or last name, dear? It was garp, just garp. That's the whole thing. I think it was his last name. What was his first name? I never found out. She never found out his first name? Jenny, you must know his first name. Technical Sergeant Garp. I knew it, I knew it, a goddamn soldier. Technical Sergeant? T.S. Yes, T.S. Garp. That's my baby's name. If I ever lay my hands on the son of a bitch, I'll kill him. He's dead already. I don't suppose you bothered to get married. Married? She never even met the son of a bitch. I didn't want to get married. I wanted a baby. But a wedding ring, dear. I didn't need his ring, Mother. I needed his sperm. No. Don't you dare say sperm in this house. Where, where are you going? To get a job. I'm a trained nurse and I plan to continue my work. Jenny! Jenny! In the war! Which side was he on? Was he on our side at least? He wasn't on any side. He was flat on his back in the hospital. One night when he had one of his usual erections, I got on top ejaculated over me. I got a wonderful baby. Oh, I can't, I can't hear it then. Where'd she go? I went for... Oh, my God. This gentleman is a bot. I wish I was a girl, because if I was a girl, I'd take off my clothes and stand in front of a mirror and look at myself for hours. The all-American bot. Hey, why can't a basketball player father a child? Everybody knows. <laughs> hey, get him, Bosworth. Turn, turn, give me that. I 
I haven't got it. Why don't you put tell me what happened? Of course you can tell me what happened. Well, come on, Take a look. Well, I zipped it up too fast and it got caught. I can see that. Well, we'll just have to unzip you. Well, I tried that already, but, but it hurts. Well, it's either that or amputate. I can't have you parading around like a savage from Borneo. Ah! It's all right. It's all right. Hold on. I'm going to put something on. I'll get you for this, Pritchard. Jeffrey. Leave it alone for a while. Yes, Miss Fields. What are you doing awake? <laughs> I'm Dada. Not Dada. Mama. Say Mama. Mama. <laughs> Dada's dead. He got killed. No, let go. Give this to me. Let go. Let... Where did you get this? Sick. Even when they're healthy, they're sick with lust. Bosworth. Bosworth, a word of warning, you filth monger. If you expose my baby one more time to cheap shots like this, I'll inoculate your jockstrap with bubonic plague, and it'll do such a job on you that you'll have nothing left to even scratch down there. Understand? Yes, Miss Fields. Fine. Well, good night then, Bosworth. Sleep well. Was a flyer. I told you he was a tail gunner in a plane. If he was in a plane, he was a flyer. Was he real big? I don't know. I never saw him standing up. Why not? Well, I'll tell you about it someday. This is one course you won't be taking. Text is dull, and Stuart Percy's even duller. I nearly fell asleep in his class today. Maybe he didn't die. Who? My father. He sure did, dead and gone. Mythology. I'll check out this class for you next week. Long Ranger died. It's Lone Ranger, not Long. He died. Oh. Sorry to hear that. But he really didn't. Everybody thought he died, but he didn't die. Maybe my father didn't really die either. Not really. I'm a nurse. I know. He died. Will I ever fly like Daddy? I don't know. I remember flying. When you were born, I was so happy. I threw you up and down, up and down. I remember. You were too young to remember. I remember flying. I went flying with Daddy last week. Are you going to go to sleep, or are you going to stay up and think your weird thoughts? I'll stay up and think weird thoughts for a while. All right. Fine. Good night. I'll see you in the morning. If I'm still here. You know, you don't really need a father. All the other kids have one. Well, if all the other kids had trench mouth, would you want that too? I'm tired of that answer. And I'm tired of your questions. Good night.
I know how to make babies. I know, too. How could you? You don't have a father. You're a bastard. But I'll teach you. Monkey in the middle. Monkey in the middle. All right. First thing is, I have a headache. Oh, my head. I have a headache. Not tonight. Now, you're supposed to attack me and pull my clothes off. You sure? <laughs> yes. And you're supposed to say, every night you have a headache. OK? OK. Not tonight. I have a headache. Every night you have a headache. <laughs> <laughs> No, don't do that. That's Diggle. No, Bonkers. Oh. Stop it, Bonkers. Stop it. Oh, no. Go away, Bonkers. Does she? Does she? No, Bonkers, no. Bonkers. Oh, oh. Stop. Oh. Bonkers. Bonky. Oh. Oh. Bonky, are you all right, big boy? Oh. <laughs> Does she, what happened? Bonky oh, bit yeah. Garp. I see. Bonky bit Garp. Oh, huh. gosh. At least the dog's got good taste, doesn't he? <laughs> uh, Does it hurt? Yes, a lot. Well, you shouldn't tease Bonkers. He did it. It hurts. Right, come on, you run along to your house. Go to your mother. Uh, She's a nurse. She can take care of it. What happened? Bonky bit Garp. All right, kids, fun's over. Stay. That's a good dog. Smile, Cushy. That's right. Now, come on, Pooh. Smile. This picture is going to all our friends this year. So smile and look merry. Pooh, will you smile, damn it? If you don't smile, you'll never get a husband. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh. is not dog food, God damn it! Calm down, Jenny. Bonkers just got a little excited. Fine. I'm a little excited, too. Where is Bonkers? Oh, well, what do you want to see him for? I want to take him down to the infirmary and give him a shot. Oh, what for? So he won't bite people anymore. Oh, a shot will do that? Damn right it will. He'll be dead. You can't be serious. You bet your fat ass I am. I'm telling you now, either you tie him up, make him behave, or I'll make him dead as a doornail. Come on, dog. Good afternoon, Jenny. Good afternoon, Jenny. Hello there, Gov. Hello, Dean. I understand you'll be starting classes next semester. Yes, we're on our way now to enter him in a sport. Really? What will you be going out for? Basketball. Well, I'm sure you'll do splendidly. Good luck to you. Thank you very much. Why can't I decide what sport to take? Because you're too young. I've looked into them all, and basketball's the best. I'm too short for basketball. Hey, Garp, you want to play? Yes, I do. No, you don't. That cushy could use a good sport herself. All right, over here, over here, let's go. Get the rebound. Get around, get around. Okay, right. back up. Good, good, we got it. Okay, let's get back on defense, back on defense. Let's go, set up number four. Okay, number four. Okay, let's go, Chris, set up on the baseline, the baseline. Give and go, guys, give and go, move it up. Come on, Chris, let's go, weak side, move weak in, side. Joey, come on. Send the board. Come on. Hey, come on, Danny. We got him. Watch him. Take the shot, Gary. Take the shot. Swish. Oh, nice shot. All right. Good shot. Hey, move it around, guys. Move it around. All right. Same thing. Bottom man down. Same man down. Let's go. Ready? Hold him down. Light him. Good. Hold on. Good reversal now. Get off the back. Stay off the back. Ten seconds. Hold him. Hold him. Five. Four, three, two. Okay, gentlemen, that's it. Hit the showers. Yeah. Hey, go out right there. Hey, go 
Gunner. Why can't basketball players bother a crowd? Because they're ugly. No, because they dribble before they shoot. <laughs> hey, what's the definition of Brazier? I don't know what. It's an over the shoulder boulder holder. Oh, yeah, what's the definition of a girdle? I don't know what. It's a lower decker pecker checker. <laughs> My father wore a helmet. He was a flyer. Oh? Can you fly? No. Oh. Jesus Christ! Hey, what's you doing? Sammy Hey, do you know why Santa Claus can't father a child? Because he comes down the chimney. <laughs> Cobb, what are you doing in here? Okay, wrestlers, we've got a big meet tomorrow, so don't beat in the meet crazy. tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do what they do. Animals. Get the mattresses close together, right next to the building, so we can fall on them. The hurry, boys! Give hurry. me your free foot. A little bit more over. Together, there we are. Together. I've got you. I'm not going to let go of you. All right? I'm not going to let go. You're going to be all right. Now, slowly take your foot out of the gutter. That's a good boy. Take it out. I'm I've got you, son. I've got you. <laughs> Bring him into the infirmary. Let's go, boys. Everybody back inside. Hey, everybody inside. Get them you sure like trouble, don't you? Thank God I caught him. Yes, just in time. What was he doing up there? Pretending to be his dead father. I wanted to be a father myself. But I never got married. Neither did I. Hmm? I always wanted a child. If I could have had one by myself, I would have. But God or nature or whatever. Well, you know, you need a man. You know what men are like. Full of lust. I can talk to you because you're past all that. What? You're not well enough to walk. It's a very nasty bump. Anyway, the war was on. I was a nurse. One day, they brought in a tail gunner who had been wounded by anti-aircraft in a raid over Germany. A splinter of steel had lodged in his brain, and all he could say was his name, Garp. For medical reasons I couldn't quite understand, he also had a constant erection. Well, he deteriorated steadily. Till one day, all he could say was part of his name, Arp. It was then that I knew that he wouldn't last much longer. His erections continued, however, quite unabated. I see. I'll just not be going. Not yet. No. no, not yet. Oh. You'd better rest. Oh. 
Anyway, where was I? He kept having erections. Thank you. He was dying. I wanted a child. Seemed like a good way to have one without the bother of a husband hanging around who had legal rights to my body. So one night when I was on duty and the wounded and maimed were all asleep, I went to him. He was asleep, but his erection was there as always. I removed my undergarments and climbed on top of him. He woke up then, said the only word other than his name that I ever heard him utter. He said, good. Didn't take very long, and that once was all that was needed. You raped him. You raped a dying man. Are you all right? No. Yes. I have to get home now. You've been very kind. I've never heard anything. Good night. And then he died. He did die. Really? Really. Will you throw him in the air like you used to? You're too big for that now. Now you don't have a father either. You know, everybody dies. My parents died, your father died, everybody dies. I'm going to die too. So will you. The thing is, to have a life before we die, it can be a real adventure. Having a life. Hello again. Hope I'm not disturbing you running up and down here. Nope. It's distracting, isn't it? Not to me, it's not. What do you weigh? About 112 or so? 113. Oh, pleased to meet you. 158 on the way to 147. Sorry about that. Oh. Oh. My name is T.S. Garp. What's T.S. stand for? Terribly sexy. I used to be terribly shy, but I changed. Oh. I'm Helen Home. Oh, home sweet home. Our new wrestling coach is named Home. Boy, oh, what a hard ass. We call him Home Sweat Home. He's my father. I'm his daughter. We're the home team. Oh. Take care. Holy oh, asshole.
Look right into that fireman's gun. Come on. Come on. Congratulations. You beat us on the takedowns, and we're lousy on takedowns. Thanks, Tom. Uh, we got some guys. Uh, nice job, Ernie. Nice yourself. Good. He beat you on uh, the feet. You got all the takedowns. And most of the falls. <laughs> Mr. Holm. Oh, hi, Jenny. Mr. Holm, were you aware of what was going on out here? Well, uh, Garp wasn't really concentrating the first period, but it was it that was double lost. arm. Beg your pardon? Lust. Mr. Holm, you have a daughter. I have a son. He's a fine boy. He's a good wrestler. He's also full of lust. I can spot it a mile away. He's lusting after your daughter. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about that. Helen can take care of herself, and after all, it's only natural. Well, diseases are natural, too. Doesn't mean we have to give in to them. Keep an eye on your daughter, Coach. <laughs> Cushy? Car? Oh. <laughs> so, what brings you home? Oh, I'm visiting. I'm stuck at this all-girls school. So I thought I'd visit here and see how the boys are doing. So, how are you? I have this terrible headache. <laughs> I'll see you. Yeah. Take care. I disturbing you? I think you like to disturb me. You should read a lot. I've always read a lot. Me too. It's gonna ruin your eyes, though. They're already ruined. Oh. oh, Ulysses. You gonna be a writer? No chance. Oh. I'm gonna be a reader. Maybe you'll marry a writer. If I marry anybody, it'll be a writer. But I doubt I'll marry anybody. You're certainly not gonna marry a wrestler, are you? Yeah. You can be very sure of that. Mm -hmm. Unless it's a wrestler who's also a writer. But a writer first and foremost. Yeah, a real writer. Oh, like Joyce. Maybe. Yeah, but he never made any money. He had to work as a clerk to support himself and his wife. You've read him? Uh-huh. Did you know that he had a beautiful tenor voice? No, I didn't. Well, he was 21 when he entered the Feshkiol in Dublin. The what? The Well, It's a Gaelic musical competition. He was runner-up in the uh, tenor category, and you know who the winner was? No. John McCormick. Really? Mm -hmm. Do you always wear a sweatsuit? Don't you like it? 
Yes, I, I was just imagining what you'd be like without it. I mean, even in a dress. I spend a lot of time imagining things, you know? Part of my training as a writer. All real writers imagine. Good night, Gough. Goff, you've no right to write this. If you're going to write about me and my personal life, wait till I'm dead. While I'm alive, the subject belongs to me. I might want to write about myself. Nothing's happened to me yet, Mom. Well, too bad. Make something up, then. Good night, son. Good night, Mom. Sleep well. You too. So how do you know you're going to be a writer? Just something you know. Hmm? Mm, hmm. What are you going to write about? my life, once I've experienced enough. Mm. Now you'll write and you'll marry Helen and she'll read. Is that what you want? Maybe. I guess I'd better give you something to write about, huh? Oh, boy. It's stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Is this your first time? No. I thought so. <laughs> Where's your thing? Where's what? Your thing. My thing? Don't you have a hold of it? No, your glove. My glove? Look, I don't want babies. No glove, no love. <laughs> oh, you mean rubbers. <sighs> Poo? <sighs> oh, poor Garp. You're about to burst. I'm getting on you, Helen. What's the matter?
my first short story. I wrote it for you. You wrote it for me? Yeah. What Cushy think of it? Cushy? Cushy. I don't think she's the type to appreciate serious literature. Oh, I don't know. From what I saw of her, she seemed to have a pretty good head on her shoulders. <laughs> oh, boy! Helen! Helen! We haven't got much time! Men die young in my family, Helen! I'm leaving! I'm going to New York to become a real writer! Helen! Helen! Oh, God. Oh. oh, bonkers. Bonky. Come on now. Give me the paper. <laughs> Bonkers, give me that paper, you hairy son of a bitch! too. Mom, I want to get the hell out of here. I want to go to New York and become a real writer. All right. I've been thinking we ought to leave here myself. We've been here long enough. Are you going to come? Well, I think it's a good idea. Maybe I could write there, too. What's this? Bonker's ear. His ear? A part of it. Yes, what is it you want? What the hell did that bastard son of yours do to my dog? There's blood on the porch, there's blood everywhere. He's under the house and he won't come out. What the hell did he do? Got bit bonky. Got oranges, uh, fruits and vegetables. Now all we need is some butter, some milk and some coffee. And, uh, we're also out of suit. Is that the latest fashion? No, Mom, that's the oldest profession. Horse? Oh, yes. How do you know? Oh, just a writer's instinct. I want to talk with one of them. Mom, come on. No, I want to ask her about Mom. something. About what? I want to ask her about lust. Mom. Mom. Oh, boy. Pardon me. My name is Jenny Fields. Are you a prostitute? What's it to you? Hello. My name is Garb. My mother and I were just passing Your by. Your mother? I'll be glad to pay you. Oh, yes. You see, my mother. Uh-uh. Says... I don't go for no kinky stuff. You want any of that? You go over to 8th Avenue. Oh, no, no, no. She just wants to talk well, what's to What's your regular charge for what you do? You know, ask a few questions. Would $10 be enough? $10? What's the usual charge? Well, Mom, I don't know. It depends, but... I'll give you 20 And we'll go someplace where we can get a cup of coffee and get warm and talk. You pay for the coffee? Of course. Ah, oh, what the hell. Go. Do you feel anything? Or do you get any physical enjoyment from it? Not when I'm working. Oh, sometimes. Why do you think men like you? Mom, we really gotta go. Oh, do you like her? She's very nice, Mom. But... What is it about her that you want? I don't mean just her sex parts. I mean, is there something else that's satisfying? Well, <clears throat> it's, it's a combination. How do you feel to be wanted in that way? 
Does it degrade you to have my son want you in that way, or do you think it only degrades him? I don't know. Do you want her? Do you want her like you want Helen? Is it the same kind of want? You really want to have sex with her? Well, do you? Of course I do. All right. Hey, look. It's all right with me if your mother wants to buy me for you, but she can't come along with us. Oh, no, Jesus, no, no, you absolutely oh. not. I will not have her watching us. I am still a Catholic, believe it or not. You want anything funny like that, you can I just go over to I don't intend to watch. I've heard quite enough. Thank you so much for your time. You do what you want to do or what you have to do, I guess. Here. Oh, Don't Mom. give me money here. Why not? Because it's illegal, Mom. Why? Because it is. That's why. That's silly. It's her body. Why shouldn't she use it the way she wants to? Here. I'll see you later. Good night. Thank you so much. Mother's weird. You could say that. Mom? What you doing? Writing. About what? None of your business. Lay off me, will you? You've been hammering at me ever since we got in the goddamn plane. I told you we should have stayed in Chicago. Come on, Rachel. Don't Rachel me, Stephen. Just don't Just get Rachel on me. me. Will you? Stephen! Stephen! 
Rachel! Steven! Steven! Remember Chicago? Do you? You remember these, Rachel? Do you? Well, I don't want them anymore. There will be other songs to sing, another fall, another spring. Come down, Stephen. But there will Come down. never. Ah! Watch out! It's, uh, a bit thin. Yeah, but it's not quantity that counts. Thank God for that. This is good enough for me. That's not very artistic, though. Well, I'm not an artist. I'm a nurse, and it's about time I got back to it. Well, I want to be an artist, and I want to know what you thought of it. I'm not sure I understand it. Mom, it's very simple. He can do wonders when he's wearing his magic gloves. If his wife is sad, he just touches her with his gloves and she's happy. If his children are crying, he just touches them and they smile. But he can't feel them. He yearns to feel. He can even hold off death with his magic gloves, but he can't feel life. So he takes off the gloves and he dies, but he finally feels life as he's flying into the arms of death. I like if that's what it means, I like it. Well, let me see yours. No, I've got to go. Well, that's not fair. I showed you mine. You should show me yours. What do you think you're doing, playing doctor's office with Cushy? I have an appointment. With who? Whom? With whom was your appointment, Mother? With him. He's a publisher. He looks like a nice man. I'll let him publish my book. Let him? Why not? Bring that along, will you? We can return. Come along! Yes, In this dirty-minded world, you are either somebody's wife or somebody's whore, or fast on your way to becoming one or the other. I think so. Don't you? Well, to tell you the truth, I've never given the matter much thought, but I... Garp. Is that right? Garp? That's right. Garp. Mom, you didn't write about me, did you? I wrote about my life. You're a part of it. Yeah, but you said when I want to write about your my life. My son is also a writer. Mm. Short stories. A sexual suspect? Well, I wanted a job, and I wanted to live alone. That made me a sexual suspect. I wanted a baby. But I didn't want to share my life in order to have one. That also made me a sexual suspect. Oh. I wanted to express an inner longing. Well, I'll call you. Mm. Mom. It wasn't fair. You said I couldn't write about you. Oh, my God.
Well? It's so sad. Really? So sad. <laughs> oh, that's great. I mean, thank you. <laughs> it's the saddest story I have ever read. Oh. Ah! Yo! Ah! That's wonderful. Ooh. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so sad. Oh, Helen, Helen, do you know that this is going to be published in the review? Oh. And Mom's publisher said that he would publish my first novel, too. Do you think I'm going to be a real writer? I do. Oh, I do. Oh, yes. Oh. And you said that you'd only marry a real writer. I did. And I do. Oh, I do, too. It's sickening. Every bookstore in New York looks like this. Every bookstore in the U.S. I mean, what the hell does she know about lust? She never felt it, not even once. And some authority she is. It's like listening to a plant describe the motives of a mammal. It's the timing. Timing. I thought in writing it's supposed to be the writing. In writing it is writing. In publishing it's timing. I'm stunned myself. It upsets people. I don't know about Jenny, but I'm getting hate mail just for publishing it. Dangerous stuff, and dangerous stuff, so. In one way or another, we have all been suspect all of our Thank lives. Thanks. We have been suspect as the weaker sex. When we showed strength, we were suspect as not being weak enough. When we showed intelligence, we were suspect of covering up some defect in our femininity with our brains. No, it really gets my goat that she wrote about me. I am known as the bastard son of Jenny Fields. Hello. How nice to see you again. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. Yeah? Thank you so much for everything. Ah, oh, what the hell? Am I in it? In a way. Yeah? I'll read it. She is going to be very, very rich and very, very famous. I get the picture. And I don't think you do. You're a wonderful writer, Garth. Your novel is as good a first novel as I've read. I'm proud to publish it. But your mother has written a political manifesto. She's a cult, not a writer. Could you write a little something in there? Yes. It's for Frank, my husband. Dear Frank, the kids are in the school, the dog is in the yard, and I am gone, gone, gone. Love, Ruth. I think you better write that. Thank you. I will. We're neither little nor weak, but a force to be dealt with. The women of America, hungry for a heroine, have at last found one in Jenny Fields. here with the lawn. It's a lovely place. Lovely. Just the ticket for young marrieds. And my firm will even finance the mortgage. Well, my mother's paying for it. She's become a firm these days. Oh. Well, what do you think, Helen? Is it a home? Uh, it's close to the college where I'll be teaching. Yeah, close to the supermarket where I'll be shopping. Just like our house. I work and my husband putters around the house. <laughs> my husband doesn't putter. He's a writer. 
This novel was just published, Procrastination by T.S. Garp. T.S. Garp? <laughs> Not the bastard son of Jenny Fields! Oh, I loved your mother's book! Loved it! <gasps> oh, I keep buying them and my husband keeps burning them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you write too. Isn't that nice? You must be so proud of your mother. Oh, I'm oh. very, very proud of Mom. down there? Yeah, I'm okay if we're all right, but are you all right? Oh, I'm fine. You mind if I use your phone? Sure, if you can find it. Thanks a lot. We'll take the house. Garp. Honey, honey, the chances of another plane hitting this house are astronomical. See, it's been pre-disastered. We're gonna be safe here. Yes, there is. Nobody is buying my novel. And I'm starting my second, and the same nobodies are gonna line up not to buy that one, too. I have just read in Time magazine. My mother's book has been translated into Apache. Apache, Helen. Not even Shakespeare or Dickens has been translated into Apache. She's timely. She struck a chord women wanted to hear. The reviewers took her to pieces. They said wonderful things about your book. Yeah, but I don't want reviews. I want an audience, a big audience. One of my students brought you up in class today. He didn't even know we were married. They started talking about magic gloves. Well, what was the verdict? They loved it. One of them even called it a novella instead of a short story. I like that kid. There's another kid I'm sure you're gonna like too. Really? What's he like? Can't tell yet. Quiet type? <laughs> yeah, real. It's very young. A real baby. I invited him over to meet you. When? Should be here in about seven and a half months. <laughs> oh, don't cry. I'm the one who's supposed to be crying. I gotta do everything around here. I gotta cook, I gotta clean, I gotta cry. He's in there, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, it's nice in there. I know. Duncan, say da da. It's easy. Da da. Anybody can say mama, Duncan. Come on, quit torturing me. Say da da. Say it, say it. All right, Duncan. This is Technical Sergeant Garp. Now make it easy on yourself. Don't be a baby, Duncan. Say da da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Hey, you! Wait, wait! Hello. 
look, fella, this is a residential neighborhood. And this time of day, the residents are mostly kids who can't look out for themselves. So it's up to us to look out for them. What this means, basically, is that we have to follow the speed yeah, limit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're wonderful. Stop, you son of a bitch. Every time we come here, there are more people. Oh, they take advantage of her. I wonder who they all are. Butchers, hangers on. This is what happens when you become rich and famous. That's why I avoided it. Ah, ah, ah. God! 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 How lovely to see you. You look wonderful. Oh. Helen. Hi. Hello, dear. Who's that? Hello, Duncan. Well, how about a hug for Grandma? Oh! Yes. Say Grandma. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on inside. I'll take you upstairs. There we go. We're gonna go in there. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Who's that? Somebody mother introduced me to. Back to your basic hospital light, eh, Mom? Yes. Come on upstairs. I'll show you your room. I'm going to die in the mud. My name's T.S. Garp. It was just touch her. Oh, it's all right. She can't bear to have a man's hand touching her. Oh, she got problems. Yes, she does. I mean, it's going to be kind of hard to avoid being touched, isn't it? Yes, it is. That's why she's here. My name's Roberta. I'm Garp. You're Jenny's son. Yes, I am. Oh, I just finished reading your novel. I think it's wonderful. I adored what it. It is. What happened? Oh, it's all right. Garb just frightened Alice for a bit, but she's fine. Mom, I'm sorry. All I did was just touch her. It's all right, darling. It's all right, everyone. It's all right. Just go back to doing what you were doing before. It's, everything is fine. Barbara, 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 it's all right. Mom, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't know. He's my son. What's her problem? Uh, she's an Ellen Jamesian. What does that mean? You don't know what an Ellen Jamesian is? No, Mom, I don't. I mean, what, is she taking a vow of frowns or something? What's all this? She has no tongue. What do you mean she has no tongue? I mean she has no tongue. It was cut off. Oh, Christ, I'm sorry. It was cut off on purpose because of what happened to a little girl named Ellen James. Two men raped her when she was 11 years old. They cut off her tongue so she wouldn't tell anyone who they were or what they looked like. Some of these women formed a society in her honor. You mean this Ellen James society goes around not talking as if they had no tongues? No, I mean they don't have any tongues. The women in a society have their tongues cut off to protest what happened to Ellen James. Well, you mean they actually have their own tongues cut off? Yes. The society... Oh, Mama, I don't want to hear about this shit. You're a little short on sympathy, son. No, Mama, I got a lot of sympathy for a little girl who gets raped, but, my God, this is self-mutilation. I mean, suppose the next time there's a rape, I cut off my prick and I wear it around my neck. Barbara, what? Well, I got a good idea, too. Oh, Why don't you... Oh, 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 oh
It's all right. It's Jesus a... Christ. No sense making things any worse than they are. This whole house is full of... I know, I know. Everyone here has something missing or some wound that won't heal, and your mother tries to nurse them back to health. She's a wonderful person. Are you visiting somebody here? No, why? Well, you just seem like the only normal person around the place. Oh, I don't know. Pardon me. I hate to use a corny line like this, but haven't I seen you before? You like football? Oh, yeah, I used to watch it quite a bit. Well, you might have seen me. I was a tight end with the Philadelphia Eagles. Number 90, Robert Muldoon. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had a great pair of hands. Yeah, she did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Are we going to come back? Yeah. Yeah. Are coming back? You want to come back? Oh, okay. Let's go by, Ellen. Bye, Roberta. <laughs> Done for you. Kiss for Grandma? Can you say bye, Grandma? Bye, Grandma. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> when are you due? How did you know? I'm a nurse. I know. When's what due, Mom? Oh, son, Helen's expecting. No, she's not. Yeah, she is. Oh, boy. Helen! <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, oh, oh wonderful. Oh, it's so hard. <laughs> oh. So have a lovely trip down. We will. And I'll send you the book as soon as I finish. OK, I'll call you as soon as we get home. Drive wonderful. careful. Goodbye, well. darling. Yeah. Goodbye, sweetheart. Oh. Did it again. You sure did. <laughs> if it's a girl, I guess. Bye, Duncan, bye, darling. Duncan. Bye, bye, sweetheart. Pretty nice Halloween party, huh? Death scared me. Yeah. Well, it wasn't death. That was just a costume. It scared me. Nobody's scared of bears. And bears are scared of nobody. Except death. What's gradual school? Gradual school? Yeah, Mom says... She teaches kids that go to graduate school. Oh. Well, graduate school is where you go and gradually find out that you don't want to go to school anymore. Who's mommy talking to? I don't know. Who do you think she's talking to? Duncan, leave him alone. Gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. What's going on out here? <laughs> Walt's is scared to death, Mom. No, he's not. I am so. Inside, Duncan. Roberta calls. Oh, wish us a happy Halloween. That's right. Uh, we should invite her over next weekend. I just did. Sure. Oh, no. I don't want your names on these. I just want to know why you selected this particular literature course. Anonymity promotes honesty. Thank you. That's it. I will see you Tuesday. Michael Milton. No, the thing that's really hard is that I'd love to have kids. Of course I can't. And they won't let me adopt. Jenny's doing all she can. We're taking the case to court. I love kids. Oh, me too. 
I didn't know I loved them so much until I became a woman. And if I'd known, I would have had some while I was still a man. Well, don't get them all too crazy about you. Well, you know how I feel about them. Oh. What's the matter? It's just one of those raging hormonal attacks. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Garp. 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 Terrorizing this neighborhood for years. You don't think that's overreacting? What is it? Bitch ran the same stop sign. You have one hell of a way of making converts to civilization. The only thing you've inherited from your mother is your, your natural ability to piss people off. Dreadful films. Whoever made this dreadful film is a friend of mine. Wish I had friends who wrote dreadful novels, novellas, and short stories. Practically a whole window to yourself. How about that? I like it. Hiya, teacher. Hi. Who's that? Just one of my graduate students. Like flying. It's dangerous and silly. Run, run, run. There will be other lips. Run, 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 run. I'll send the sitter out. Roger and out. But they won't thrill me like yours used to do. Yes, I may dream a million dreams, but how can they come true? Hi. Hi. We still got a long way to go.
You know, I've just been reading this. Really? Well, how do you like it? I love it. <laughs> it's awfully sad. You know, I've read everything you've written, Mr. Gar. Really? <laughs> what does the TS stand for? Terribly sad. It used to be terribly sexy, but I, but it changed. <laughs> oh, I don't <laughs> think so. Really? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> How old are you? Eighteen. Eighteen. <laughs> Eighteen. Any word in the English language as sexy as that? <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? Thirty. Hmm. Thirty. Dirty thirty? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I'd known you when you were 15. Oh, I really wish I'd known you when you were five. Yeah, five. <laughs> wish we grew up together as kids. That way I can see you flat chested and watch you as your breasts grew. Did you see my breasts sag? My teeth fall out, my hair turn gray. It's not as exciting, but. Our youth is gone, isn't it? Mm hmm. How about that? I'm 30. <laughs> dirty, dirty. Why dirty? I don't know. You know, maybe we should move. Why? Well, I mean, there's like nuclear power plants nearby. I mean, there's crazy drivers everywhere. Strangers. Which strangers? Well, we haven't had any strangers, but I mean, well, strangers can come between us. Did you seduce that babysitter? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, that really, that really gets me. <sighs> Sorry. I should hope so. No, I don't think I want to. I do. I really, really do. I don't. I really don't. I want to finish reading this story. You're reading another writer in my bed, Helen. That's adultery. See? A stranger has come between us. Black Snow. That's catchy. And Michael Milton, is that his name? Yeah. Mm. Sounds like a flavor in a gay ice cream parlor. Strawberry swirl, chock full of chocolate mocha madness, Michael Milton. He's not gay. His writing's nowhere near as good as yours. Does he write sad stuff, too? Hardly. Mm. He's one of my graduate students. He's bright enough, he's just... What? I don't know. Young, maybe. He's just young. Very bright, but young. 
How young? 17? No, not 17. 18? 19? Is he a teen? I don't know. Let's go look at the kids. We looked at them last night. I know, but I really feel the need to look at them. For both of us to look at them. All right. Let's go look at the kids. I just really love it. What? I mean, being a father. Being a husband and a father. Oh, I really adore it. I will never, ever write anything that lovely. I mean, I have talent as a writer. I'm a natural at only two things. Wrestling. And being a family man. Come on, family man. What's the matter, Walt? What's wrong? You guys always get to die. I never get to. You can't. Someone has to rescue the fair maiden. I want to die, too. All right. With his last dying breath, Suscom manages to crawl forward and fling his vile blade. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Well, we have to end the war because we're pot roast. Isn't that a pity? Oh. Come on, don't moan if you want to eat dinner. Dead men don't eat. Yeah, dead men don't bitch either. I've got to go. It's late. Goodbye, Don. You can't stay. No, I have to go have a heartbreak in Manhattan. He's young, he's handsome. Oh, what can I do? Maybe this time it'll work out. Maybe so. I'm a hopeless romantic in a male chauvinist world. Bye, darlings.
having some trouble? Looks that way. Can I give you a lift someplace? Where to? To your apartment, Queen. Pretty clean. If anyone finds out about this, it's over. You understand? It's a small town. It's not that small a town. You've been sleeping with Marge Tallworth. She's in Dirksen's drama through the ages. That's how small this town is. You've been doing your homework, teacher. I like you calling me teacher. It underlines the difference in our ages and reminds me why I'm doing this so you can keep it up. Not here. Only in your apartment. And only if it's clean. Just one of those days, hon. So the kids get up, so them go to school, and so you go to work. And then the kids and I play this great game with Roberta. Turn, 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 turn. We beat him, Mom. We did him. We killed him. Oh, boy, did they. And then we talked about the fact that I have never, ever written a Christmas story. It was my idea. It was. Story credit goes to Duncan. It's going to be called A Child's Christmas with a Whale. It's all about this little lame girl who runs across the peach blue whale, still alive, and she helps him. And I get to do the drawings. Right. Walt gets to do the illustrations. Helen, do you realize how good he is? Uh-huh. This is going to be a real family project. <sighs> you know, sometimes you can have a whole lifetime in a day and never even notice that this is as beautiful as life gets. Oh, I just feel happy that I noticed. I had a beautiful life today. I even died and lived to tell about it. Right. What a day. What a day. Mm. 4329! 4329! Down! Set! Hut! 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 Okay, answer. Cut! Oh. Suck it! You got it! Don't go! Don't go! No tackling! No Unnecessary no roughness. Oh, Walt, isn't this lovely? Look at him. What's he saying? Boo hoo. Did you really do them yourself? Yes. Duncan did the eyebrows on the whale, but I did the rest. Your daddy used to draw. Not as well as you. Down! Set! Hut! 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 Why, Mr. 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 be old too someday. Old man Walt. It's not bad being old. It's kind of nice actually. You can have cake and ice cream and you don't have to worry about cavities. You're done with school and if you're very lucky you'll have many many friends and many many memories and you can think about them. Would you like that? Can I go swimming? Of course you can, darling. Just don't go in over your knees. Okay, okay, Duncan, come on, come on. 39, uh, 
Time out. Time out. Just fine. What was that all about? New constitution? They had a crisis. Ellen James wrote them a letter begging them to disband and stop getting other women to hurt themselves. Oh, good for her. They took a vote and decided to continue. They're going to have an Ellen James society and Ellen James is against it? It's their right to do what they want. She sent me a picture of herself. Oh, so this is a little girl. She's not little anymore. She doesn't want anyone to know what she looks like now or where she is. There still are men who would hurt her. Poor kid. She not only has to hide, but she's got to feel responsible for all these women whacking their tongues off in her name. I'd help her if I knew how or even where she is, but I can't find out. Well, can I have it? What? The picture. Why? I don't know. your fellow New York working out? Well, it isn't. He says I make him feel sexually ambiguous. Can you imagine? Sorry. I'm going on a cruise next Friday. Two weeks, the Club Med. Maybe things will change. Oh, God. Sir. Some of my hate mail. This one hopes that I'll get gang-banged by the Oakland Raiders. There are a lot of sick people out there. Your mother gets even worse than these. You writing anything? No. If I could write, I'd feel better. Maybe. What's the matter, Roberta? I don't know. I think I'm developing female intuition. I don't know. It's probably nothing. You coming? In a minute. Sorry, we're going back. Home is home. No, under toad. There's no toad under the water. Boy, you are something, Walt. You hear that, Dad? What's that? Walt thinks there's a big toad under the water. You know, under toad. <laughs> Come here. First there was the gradual student, and now the under toad. Come on, Walt's a fine kid. I know, he just can't talk. You got the wrong house and the wrong guy. You see, my name is Garp. It's my mother you want. Uh, you... Oh, listen, I, I know, I know all about it. And I think it's a hideous thing that you've done. I, I, I didn't know you knew. You can talk. Why can't 
basketball players have kids? Because they're guys. Daddy's a guy. But Daddy has mommy. If Daddy had mommy, but he was a basketball player, why couldn't he have kids? But he's a daddy, and she's a mommy. That means they do have kids. You're so dumb. It's a joke. You didn't say it was a joke. Where's your handkerchief? I don't have any. Here, but take mine. It's not that we're eating out. Because it's fun. You're that what well, we're having fun. What's mom going to eat when she comes home? Shut up and eat. This sure is fun, Dad. Hello. Hello, Helen. Where are you? What the hell do you care where we are? You call him, Helen. You call him and you tell that little wimp it's all over. Of course I will. Call him. Goodbye. On the phone. No less fucks for the road. On the phone. Come home. I feel horrible without all of you here. Walt had a cold this morning. He should be home. Home? What home? We're going to go to a movie. I just can't see you right now. We... We don't cut that shit out! We'll be home later, if we come home at all. The word home keeps coming up, Helen, but it sure doesn't sound the same anymore. Oh, Michael, damn it, will you listen? You can't, Helen, you just can't. Not like this. I said it's over. But I've got to see you one more time. I'm coming over no, right there. No, you can't. Michael! Michael. Come on. I don't feel like a movie. Me neither. Too bad. Let's go. Guess what? Why? I think we're still having fun. Michael, I've got to see you, you Helen. You must go. You can't come in. Then get in the car with me. No, Michael, I brought please. some champagne. Just for a minute. We're not going anywhere. I know. I just want to sit and talk with you. Give me the keys. Give me your car keys, and I'll get in the car for a minute, but then you've got to go.
movie's not finished it's yet. It's finished. I say it's finished. Oh, wow, it's real much for time. Stop quoting Roberta. Come on. I'm quoting Granny. Yes, he she's quoting Granny. I don't. Come on. Oh, fuck yourself. There. I've had two glasses of champagne. You have to leave now. I can't. Uh, I just can't. I told you the minute anyone found out about this, it was over. But you're all I've got. I broke up with Marge. You broke up with Marge too late. Be a man, Michael. You started it. Now be a man and leave. It's like being underwater. Yeah, and you know who lives underwater. The I'm terrible, terrible, the ugly, ugly undertow. <laughs> if we could have just one more time. Michael! We wouldn't have to leave the car. Oh, my God. Is that what you want? I've always wanted you to. Oh, God! Please? Please? If I do it, will you leave then? Do you promise? Yes. Promise. I promise. We can fly, Dad. Come on, we want to fly. got a nice tan. Oh, that's all I got. I came as soon as I could after your letter. The cruise was a disaster anyway. I'm glad you're here. How are they? Well, we need you here. There's a lot of healing yet to be done. Mm. It was fine. No, it wasn't. It was a bore. I missed you all, and I couldn't wait to get back. Take you up to your room. The doctor says he'll be fine once they take the stitches out of his tongue and unwire his jaw. Well, at least he's better off than. What was his name? Michael Milton. Yes, Milton. I mean, I had mine removed surgically under general anesthesia, but to have it bitten off. It's a nightmare. I don't feel like 
What the hell's the matter with you? You think you're the only one around here with a broken heart? Is that what you think? Well, you're not. Look around you. This house is full of them. And mine is one. where you keep on my laurel. You stay right here. Okay. Laurel's here, but we're not exactly keeping her. Bullshit, you big dyke. I am not a dyke. Is Laurel expecting you? I'll kill you, douchebag. That's all you men understand, is violence. Now look, I know what sort of freaks hang around here. It's a big lesbian scene. Oh, what are you? The man in the house? Or the court eunuch? <laughs> Laurel! You in there, you bitch! Hello? Oh, I know who you are. My Laurel's not your type, sweetie. Perhaps she's not your type, either. Listen, goddammit, if you don't get Laurel's ass out here, I'm gonna clear it! Oh! Oh! oh. Randy! Oh. Are you all right? Baby, you found me. Oh, I... I don't think I can drive the fucking car. That's all right, I can drive. You just never let me. I guess Randy needs me. Easy! I'm sorry, baby, I'm sorry. Oh. Crazy guy, blind son. I'll tell you honestly, son. I think you've been behaving very badly. I've been watching you, and I've been talking to Helen. What happened, happened. Your blaming her isn't going to change that. She's hurt, and you're hurt. And you just keep pouring salt on the wounds. That's no way for the son of a nurse to behave. Heal yourself, damn it. And help her heal herself before it's too late for both of you. Did you see the doctor? Did he take out the stitches? Can you speak? I miss you. I miss you too. I really miss you. Me too. I miss Walt. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I want another child, Garp. You do? Oh, yes, don't you? Oh, of course. Yes. As soon as possible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, Helen. I'm so, so sorry. No, I'm sorry. No, I am. I'm so... Oh, no, I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. You can order a nice glass eye for any occasion. Is that really true? Yes. For Valentine's Day, you can have one with a heart. A, uh... Flag for the 4th of July. A turkey for Thanksgiving. <laughs> if you insist. I know what I want. For Christmas, I want a glass eye like one of those crystal balls they have with snow inside of them. 
I tip my head back like this, and then like this, and then there's snow falling in my eye. <laughs> that sounds wonderful. Shh. Listen. Is Daddy writing again? Oh, Duncan! Mm. I see a man with one leg. I wish you'd reconsider. I want it published. People used her, they took her life away. You're using her too. No, I'm not. I'm just helping to state her case. Maybe you are. But you also want to get at the Ellen Jamesians. You want to hurt them. No, I don't. I just want them to stop what they're doing. And Ellen wants that too. Have you talked with her about it? No, I couldn't find her. I don't know where she is. You have a fine reputation as a writer of serious fiction, Garb. This is serious stuff. But it is not fiction. It's a long, merciless attack. You're a publisher, John, not a critic. You just publish it. I see a man with one arm. I'm also a friend, and I'm warning you, you're going to be very sorry you ever wrote this. I'll take that chance. You just publish it. And he's got Come a on, dog Duncan. with him. At least change the title. No, I want an Ellen. Just Ellen, and that's it. Bye, Uncle John. Goodbye, Duncan. Gob? Is it all over? Yes. Oh, is, is it all right? It's not an it. It's a she. And she's all right. She's just a quiet little girl. Oh. She's got the hiccups. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> How's Helen? She's fine. She wants to name her Jenny. <laughs> That's a beautiful name. Yes, it's about time we had another one. I've been Jenny long enough. Come here. Say hi to your baby sister. Hello. <laughs> Say Duncan. <laughs>
began running for governor of New Hampshire. <laughs> I've been the one who gets introduced at these rallies. With the election day so close, I want to reverse that so that win or lose, I'll be able to say later on, that was the year that I got to introduce Jenny Fields. It seems that most of you know who I am. I only wish that... I'll get him. Garp? Oh, Garp. <laughs> I tried to look after her. I did. I kept warning her to stay away from crowds. It's hard to protect her in a crowd. I hated crowds. I kept warning her. I did. If I'd seen the man with the gun, if I'd only seen him a second, just a split second sooner, I could have blocked the shot. I would have, you know, I would have done it. I know. I loved her so. She scared the hell out of me once but I thought she was a fine woman. I saved her boy's life. Really? Yep. Caught him when he fell off the roof. <laughs> Just plain caught him. Death's like that. It just plain catches you. How's the basketball team, Coach? I'm the wrestling coach. Change jobs, eh? No, I'm retiring. Don't say that. You've got a long life ahead. No, this is the last year that I'll be coaching. I'm off to Florida. Well, Garp wants to take over. Take over what? Coaching. What do you coach? It's going to be held at 5 o'clock tomorrow in New York. But I'm afraid you can't go. What the hell do you mean I can't go? I'm a son. It's just for women. You see, it's going to be the first feminist memorial funeral, and they aren't going to allow any men. A man killed her. They're very upset. I'm upset. She's my mother. I warned you about your book, Garp. The Ellen Jamesians are sending threatening letters to me. Me too. So what? There's been enough violence. They're furious at you. I know these women. If a man shows up... A man is showing up, Roberta. You just want to make trouble, don't you? No, no, I don't. I'll tell you what I want. I want my mother alive again. And since I can't have that, and since I miss her terribly, I want to be around as many people as possible who feel the same way as I do. I'm going to mourn her death alone for the rest of my life. But right now, I want to share it with as many people as I can.
There was a voice in the land, but now that voice has been silenced by a madman's bullet. Jenny's voice has been silenced, but her words have been passed on to each one of us. And we now can speak for ourselves because she taught us how. I grieve, not because I am afraid that we won't be able to continue. We will continue. I grieve because I loved her, because we all loved her. She was our mother, and therefore we are now orphans. She was our home, and now we are homeless. I had more to say, but I... Who? I'm taking Donaldson's class. That's a real bore. What shall I take? I'm not sure. What the hell is global development studies? I have to sit in on that one and let you know. That must be the babysitter. I'll get it. Hi, Mrs. Scar. Hi, Jimmy. Come on. Hi, Jenny. What's your name? Jim. The movie should be over by 10:30, so we'll be back by 11. Okay, Mr. Gar. And I left the number of the theater by the phone in the study in case you have any trouble. Sure. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. That's a babysitter? I thought we were going to the movies. Where are we going? I see. We're gonna stay here and look at the kids. This is some day. Do you miss writing? No, not at all. If I do, I'll start again. You know what I really love, though? Thinking about everything. How we met. All that. I can't live in the past. I'm not. But I can live in the present and think about the past. You're supposed to do that when you're old and gray. Oh, to hell with that. When I'm old and gray, I probably won't remember my past. You gotta be young when you do it. It's really nice, you know, to look back and see the arc of your life. And it's all connected. How you got from there to here. See the line, you know? Mm -hmm. The 
really has been an adventure. I'm going to start teaching again. I'm going to take up hang gliding. <laughs> this is what you had in mind all along. And I bet I know what we can do later on. We'll go look at the kids when they're asleep. Helen home. hospital in Boston. Everything will be fine. Helen? Remember. What, my love? Everything, Helen. Yes, my love. I'm flying, Helen. Yes, my love. I'm flying. Turn on, turn on, turn on. Yes, I may dream a million dreams, but how can they come true if there will never ever be another?
When your lights have gone You can knit a sweater by the fireside Sunday mornings go for a ride Doing the garden, digging the weeds Who could ask for more? Will you still need me? Will you still feed me? 